GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8.5 series. So, the anniversary added a couple things, as you can see, highlighting over NPCs, uh, anything with health, basically, um, gives you a health bar now which is good too it also does that to um like deposit nuggets like the uh like prometheum and stuff so that's handy um you can see i'm down inside something with a whole bunch of really nice gear yeah i found a couple of pois um which one this is come on it's not going to show okay Anyway, I, I found a wreckage and a part of the DSE mid or something like that. What is this one? Here, let's see. It'll tell me. I've put a core in it now, so. DSE mid. So, it has some really uber gear in the mid. The mid is like the best part of the DSE. It had a couple of advanced constructors. So, now that I put the core in, I popped out an advanced constructor there. I popped started popping out gear and I figured I might as well start recording this this is actually really good lots of good stuff and then we're going to head back um, because I've dug up a whole bunch of gear or some some ore I should say and we are currently at level 16 so we can make a whole bunch of stuff once we get back to um, the Titan and there's also grow plots on this so so Let's get busy. I'm going to start taking all this stuff right now. Uh, here we go, advanced constructor. Woohoo! So I've I've set it to retrieve blocks. I've also gone into the control panel and made sure it's set to private because I, I want to make sure I take all the blocks. I've also stolen all the fuel and oxygen that was in here. And we're going to take these advanced constructors because that's awesome. So we'll be able to throw those in the base and have a couple of advanced constructors. Just taking all these cargo, cargo boxes. I'm going to take most things as blocks. It's always handy. Oh, I'm losing blocks, you can hear stuff blowing up. So we're, we actually dug down so that we're actually under the water right here so the water starts right there <laughs> so yeah I, I'm, I'm actually got air on her under the water yeah you dig a hole under the water and there's air under there so yeah anyway they don't have fluid water yet in this game so you can do funky stuff like that still we'll take those guns the way they are too uh, I don't really necessarily want all the consoles and doors and stuff. The shutters are nice, though. The shutters are nice. I wonder if I should take those. Eh, not right now. I can always come back and multi-tool it down uh, with the hover vehicle, like multi-tool turret. If I just raise a few more levels. Oh, look at this gravity generator. Yeah, that's worth a small fortune. Um, these antennas actually add a lot to the... Um, they, they, they cost a lot to build, so they're good to throw into a, a uh, blueprint. Okay, here's the grow plots. Ugh, not quite close enough. Okay, so we might have to go get, did I get all that? Did I get the, where's the fuel? There's only like one fuel tank. I don't need to get every, there's like tons of, I don't know how they put like 50 billion sentry guns on something, but whatever. <laughs> okay, let's get back up. Turn our light on. Wow. Like, why can't I see? Come on, get up there. There we go. Okay, so let's spawn our drone here. We should be able to reach this. Maybe not. <sighs> <laughs> we'll just go stand over here then. That's fine. Okay, let's get these plots. 
Make sure we're on retrieve. Oops. I'm going to tab out and tab in just to get my radar back. The uh, troop transport's being sent at me now. I don't know if it's going to continue to do that all the time and bug out like, like my last series. will help having some uh, more grow plots right off the bat. Okay. Um, not really sure what's down there. I don't think there's anything. I don't think there is. Anyway. Uh, is that it? Is that it? I guess what I could do is I can look at the statistics to see if there's any more grow plots, right? Yeah, there is. 51. Damn, where am I going to find <laughs> I, uh, Wow, it's still class 6. Okay, so this is like buried stuff underneath. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this is what? Under here it's buried, maybe? Is the oval? Maybe down here. Let's take a look. 51 plots. Okay. Yeah, here they are. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna finish digging this out, grabbing these plots, grabbing what's left of this thing, and I will meet you guys back at the Titan, and we will start putting this stuff in. Okay, welcome back. We are back at the base. I was just doing a bunch of work and spiders can get up to my door. We need to do something about that now. They actually pretty much came right into the <laughs> garden. Um, I was able to kill them with my handgun and there's still one left. It's just down there by the HV. Let's see if we can deal with it here. Yeah, I guess we dealt with it. Um, okay. Oops. And that is it for those ones. Let's just loot this guy really quick now. Come on. Give me your bits. Uh, okay, so we were we were actually interrupted. I was in the middle of gardening. Um, so. Yeah, I've got the garden going, as you can see, quite nice. It's I pretty much doubled the plot space by cutting the line down the center here and moving two full nine-piece plots to either side where it used to where the plot uh, allocation used to be. So uh, basically, I just doubled what it could do before and move the lights over and stuff is now growing and oh I can pick that so I'm gonna get rid of these tomatoes because um, they aren't optimal and what I mean by optimal I'm, I'm talking about not necessarily time to but also for the amount the yield per um, plot so and these aren't optimal either and I want to get rid of these now that I got some fruit just waiting to get rid of the fruit. Okay, so let's throw this stuff in here. I'll just throw it all in there. I don't need that anymore. I still need that. I'm gonna put that in. I can put that in. Okay, so we can make. We don't need any more pumpkins, do we? I don't think so. Hang on. Um... No, we need the fruit. We need the. Space oranges, here we go. So let's get those going. Plus four, so we should be able to get six in total. Okay, good. Because uh, you can see that their yield, crop yield is eight after 45 minutes. The, where's the pear thing? There they are. Uh, crop yield 4 after 27 minutes. That means crop yield of 8 after 54 minutes. 
see crop yield eight hundred forty five. Now I'm not sure if it actually gets the crop yield eight. What else showed that it got a high crop yield? No. Oh yeah, actually I think it does. Yeah, crop yield eight. It's the, the so the pumpkins crop yield a six after forty minutes. Crop yield a three after twenty nine minutes. So that would be six after fifty eight minutes. So it's just, I mean, it, it makes more sense for both time and space. Do, 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 do. It sounds like a Twilight Zone freaking. So let's do that. <clears throat> and then I think I'll have extra or whatever. I don't care. I need them. We also got to put in some med equipment that I made in another fridge here. Or is that the SV? Yeah, I got to put that away. Quite sorted out all the put all the cargo boxes and stuff because I need to build the hangar bale back, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to actually make the hangar bay safe and secure because right now it's not. So uh, that was that was not good. I mean, they they just came running right in, <laughs> pretty much. It was like uh, I wish I was recording actually, but at least I had my gun on me and I just pasted them but still I mean it could have been tragic if I was if I was not able to do anything about it so okay let's put that there um, so we got these spares well that's quite a few spares probably didn't need that it doesn't matter okay uh what else do we need we need natural sweetener and we need natural stimulant we're gonna have to go find those and that's what these two plot spaces are for and then once i have that down so this one over here is also going to be spice because it spice just requires double the amount that anything else does it seems it's required in like everything um and you got crappy yield from it, so you pretty much got to double down. So let's get these mushrooms here and get some more of that, and we can... Oh, nice fibers. So another thing a lot of people might not have realized, when you pick plants from plots, uh, I don't think it matters if it's yours or somebody else's or whatever. You get double the experience. So remember that. So here, let's, let's take a look. We're at... Uh, uh, 23576 and 235 oh did they did they drastically did they drastically reduce how much you get from, from picking stuff now oh well kudos Nice, because I'm on like medium setting for that sort of stuff. So that should have that should have yielded like 200 XP. Huh. Okay. Anyway, the spice is growing. Um, we'll get this grain up. So I want to get rid of this corn because it also isn't the most ideal thing to farm, in my opinion. Let's. Now that we have some green and we've got other green going, we can just pop these off. They can be back up. Okay, so we need to build some more mushrooms. And we want wheat. Two, four, six. That'll be good. Okay. Get these planted. So, let's go get... This was all the... Yeah, we'll do the... Um, the trees there. Get the other aloe down. Um, get these mushrooms down. 
Okay, good. Good, now we're starting to optimize our, our growing too, so we're getting there. We need some, um, we need some natural stimulant and natural sweetener now to go into these plots. I was going to, I wanted to put the, whatever. I changed where I said I was going to, but it just doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, pumpkins, yay! And it looks like the spice just popped, didn't it? No, no. Just seemed like it did. Look big. Okay. Uh, well, that's we don't need to make any more vegetables at this point. We've got all pumpkins filled. So, so vegetables are done. We're gonna start getting big yields from those pumpkins, and that's good because that. The vegetables can be turned into plant protein, which can be turned into a multitude of various things. Let's get this wheat down. I know it's really dark, isn't it? Um, let's, you know what? Let's turn the lights on, and we're gonna we're gonna actually crank the intensity on that too. I think. So, put it to two. Do the range to 20. We're going to adjust it to the gray, though, and apply it to the group. There we go. Okay. Uh, maybe we don't need that intensity. That intensity is a little intense. Let's break that down. Okay, that's a lot softer. And it's lit now enough, right? You guys don't need it more lit than that, do you? Okay, let's pick these. So, yeah, it doesn't look like uh, picking plants yields much in the way of XP anymore. Which is quite the surprise. But, I mean, that's okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I didn't think you should be able to make a spaceship because you could pick flowers. Okay, I guess unless you pick, you know, a whole planet full of flowers. So, is that it we can do with that? What else do we have? We have... What does all this need? Mushrooms and spice, yeah. Mushrooms and spice. So, it's going to be a while before I can really make any decent food. And I'm just going to take a break for a second here. Okay, next, um, I think what we want to do is knock down all the crap blocks that are connecting to the back of the section here of the Titan so that I can turn that into a, a docking bay of some sort of proper one that's sealed and, and I don't have to worry about dealing with spiders running up on me while I'm picking flowers and stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're just going to uh, spawn the drone out here. Um, I'm going to tab in and out just to get my... Um, and it is dark out, isn't it? Wow. I wonder if we should just throw down... You know what? We could. We could just throw down the... Um, let's do that. Let's do that. We have We have some stuff here, don't we? One of these, I think. One of these? Yes. Right here? Okay. Put a bed somewhere <laughs> in front of us. Um, there, right here. Okay. Let's just go sleep really quick. And let's close this door and just sleep with the door open. And we'll go to bed, wake up the next day, and stuff has grown too. Yeah, that's right too. Very cool. Or in the process of growing. We've got some pumpkins grown. We've got more, looks like wheat ready. Yep. Nice. Trees are picking up here. We've got a couple of pumpkins. Nice. And that's all growing. Growing. Okay. 
So that's another way to accelerate the growth of, of stuff too, is, you know, sleep overnight. Now keep in mind, it's going to use up your energy. So you got to make sure if you got stuff in the fridge and stuff and plants growing, that you're going to be able to do that. I knew I could because I had tons of electrical power uh, stored up. And, oh, that was a good yield of mushrooms there. That's... Sorry, I got totally sidetracked with the uber amount of mushrooms. Um, I've got to turn... Actually, do I need... I don't need any more mushrooms. I don't need to make more mushrooms. I need to make one more... I need one more of the fiber. I need two more aloe. One more fiber, two more aloe. What do I got here? Do I have aloe? Okay, so let's make aloe. And then fiber, do we have the fiber? I don't see any. No, okay, so we'll make one of those. And that'll fill up those plot um, squares, that, that three by three. Yeah, well, it's doing that. So, once I get this in, I'll pretty much have what I need to make um, anything high-end in the game that requires gardening with. I'll have basically a 3x3 three three plot designated to each resource, except spice is doubled up. And each type of resources is, is the highest yield possible for that plot so um, yeah I, th I think it'll do good for one person I think it'll be just fine it'll be optimized for a, a single light for each type uh, are these ready yet no so they're growing they're they're happy they're flopping in the breeze which is uh, must be coming down here yeah so this this is cool i'm thinking that these things are airtight then i or do i have something else that's making this airtight no so so i'm thinking the panels are airtight i did not know that i um i think that's really cool because you can actually walk under them and like obviously on a on a I'm not sure if they're airtight as opposed to temperature controlled, maybe. Maybe environment and temperature, but I don't know about O2. It's just that I'm on a planet that, it, that has O2. So I don't... Mm, yeah. I can't see them being able to retain oxygen, but heat, heat and radiation they seem to be able to repel. So... So I, th I thought that was pretty cool. It kept the uh, heat in on here and I didn't need to put a door on it, which was cool because I couldn't. Because those act occupy the space, right? And that's why I can stand under here and it's airtight. Now, that leads me to believe that they are actually airtight. Because usually if they aren't, you don't get the... Uh, pressure either or the temperature either so I bet you I could put oxygen in here and it would be wouldn't have a problem with it so that's good to know um, the what we really need to do now I don't need to see any more spiders but there's a spawn right super close like like right beside it so we gotta expand this it'll it'll destroy the spawn hopefully pretty sure it will Pretty sure it will. So, my goal here is... Oh, you know what we should try first? Let's go see if we can actually convert my multi-tool into a uh, tier 2 multi-tool. I think would be a, litter, a, a, a lot, not just a little, but a lot better than what it currently is. So, let's put this into the... Because I think I can just upgrade that directly. And let's see what we got here. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. I think it's worth it. If I got the resources to do it, it's, it's much easier. I can deconstruct things way more efficiently and faster. 
the uh, I'll go through less Prometheum even like it's just more efficient so it's a no-brainer in my opinion it's one of those things that you, you upgrade your your drill and your your multi-tool to as soon as possible right so now that I got the advanced constructor boom uh, so handy dandy I've got myself a tier 2 woo let's go use it <laughs> it's just a multi-tool okay my shoulder light on woo it was on okay let's just stand back I, I am going to just do my drone for now because it is a little dangerous out there still let's close that but it won't be dangerous for my drone. And by the way, they did not attack my HV at all while it was while it was shut off and parked. They just can't. I was out here though, so I think I kind of I triggered them onto me, and then they just ignored my HV. I think I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see if uh, if they spawn again while we're out here deconstructing this. Um, You know what? I wanna I wanna just salvage this stuff because I yeah it's one it's now one click gone stuff nice love that woohoo and I don't like where any of this is actually so we're gonna get rid of all of that. I mean, realistically, if I was just deconstructing right now, what I should do is get free experience. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to switch the faction to public. Not a big deal. I can, I can switch it back again. But I'm going to switch it to public. And since I was just salvaging anyway, um, who cares, right? I, I am only going to get partial chunks but but you can see I'm getting XP now so you still get mats back not all not whoops okay that was a fail oh well um, you know not all of it or as much I guess if you're if you got it in private and... okay so now I'm not sure if when I dig out the bottom, if I need all this stuff here, I guess I'm going to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knock all this down. And then when I dig it up downstairs, if I need to replace it, I'll put in fresh, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. So level 18 already. So I'm going to leave some of these support areas into the, in there, because I, I think it probably needs them right now until I go downstairs and remove or, or upgrade all the damage stuff and repair all the uh, structural, structural stu damage and whatnot to make it withstand uh, some more weight in other areas okay so that's getting more clean what I can do now is I can actually upgrade a bunch of this stuff by just upgrading the damage blocks I have a bunch of steel plates on me now obviously I just that's just getting a bunch so I can now upgrade these and why not I might as well just right now because this is well you know what that's not really flush where I wanted it though Although, I could come out on an angle like that. That's not too bad. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I guess let's cut, keep the theme going. We'll, we'll just repair this stuff. I'll knock this stuff out. Okay, so we'll... That's probably... Is that high enough or not high enough? How many squares is that? That's only one, two, three... Well, we can do this lower, though, and dig it out a bit, right? Or can we? I'm not sure. 
we'll have to look down. So, well, we can do anything we want. We can, we can rebuild. We have the technology. Uh, yeah, let's just upgrade this stuff right now. You know what? I think we'll just, oh, there's some half blocks. So, sometimes it's not really what I want. So, it's hard to say. That looks like a full block, right? So, okay. And that's not really the block I want either there, so. Uh... Oops. Let's just get rid of this stuff. It's all nonsense. Or XP. <laughs> I'm getting hardened steel plates from it too, which is nice. I can upgrade stuff. It's always handy. Oops. Boy, I'm horrible at that. Okay. Oh, wait. You know what? I should do this higher right there. You know what? I am going to do it higher. I can because I got this stopped right there. Yeah, let's, let's actually take this up higher. Oops. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make it bigger. Make it better for the vehicles to get in. There's no point in making it tiny and not usable, right? We'll have the mats, so we might as well just do it. And we're getting XP for <laughs> dismantling this, so it's a win-win. So I'm not sure about this area under here where that is going, if that connects up underneath. See now, what I think I'm going to do for now is get it so like a 5 by 7 can fit in for now. I'm not going to make a crazy huge SV, and if I do, then I'll park it up top. You know, I'll just park it up top. Uh, yeah, 5x7 should be fine for pretty much everything that I'm going to be able to make. And I mean, maybe an SV with, with some wings and a tail or something, I don't know, might be fit, but that's like I'm saying, that we can just park up top. Knock some of this down. It's all pretty much useless, I'm pretty sure. I don't think any of the stuff downstairs needs this area. I think this is all just a waste of material that we can scavenge and get XP for at the same time. I mean, you know, like I was saying, if we need to, we can always build it back up again. Okay, so... Let's not go too, too crazy here. I don't want any of those. We can... Let's just upgrade these just in case that we're going to need them. Be full there. angle blocks. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, so got a bunch fixed and replaced. And then let's just knock out some of this crap. Like I say, I'm not sure how wide I need to go. I don't think I have to go very wide. Um, and let's get this knocked down. So this is going to be going down right off the bat. So let's do that. Uh, do I not have this? Oh, jeez, did I not grab the concrete? Derp a derp. There it is. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I really need stairs. I guess I could make some. You know what? I can make some. Let's do that. We'll do that. Uh, they'd be blocks, right? So, steel stairs. Yeah, let's do steel. Uh, it was so quick, quick to make. It was like, boom, done. Uh, okay, that's fine. So, what we want is to dig this out a bit. So, I'm just going to use the drone in my hand. It's not, it doesn't need much. See, all of, look at that. It doesn't need much at all, right? So, yeah. There's already blocks down there for us to use as our floor. Wow, a lot of this thing is buried. I'm going to have to dig this thing up. I'm going to have to dig it up. In the meantime, we'll just clean up this area. See, this is the ramp that you can walk up to. And yeah, see, this this goes down to the, to the, to the other level. Hmm. Not sure if I want to get to the other level this way. Right? There's a door right here, right? That I've destroyed. Yeah. Where did I destroy it? Nope. I didn't destroy it yet. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how far this level goes. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm... Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay, so that's... That's okay, I think, because look. It's one, two... Two blocks. Right? Two blocks high, I can still make it and have a roof. So that's totally usable room under that. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, and we can we can actually uh, to to keep the height thing going on with underneath. We can keep these half blocks going too. So that's a good idea. Let's do that. So we're gonna do the the walls and we're gonna flip them I know it's um oops come on stop it I know it's concrete and it's not steel like the uh, what's there right now it's just that this is much cheaper I'll go like that and we're gonna pull this along here Like that. Yeah, I don't mind having a 
a room under the garage that's kind of trippy I can do that especially when it doesn't require a lot of digging to make the garage first and that's my main concern right now because I gotta get something safe here going on get some walls up and crap Okay, so we're going to be doing, this is one, so one, two, three, seven by five. Okay, so this is where, this is as wide as the door is going to need, so we can do a wall there, I guess. Let's upgrade this. we want to do it that tight we could make it a little wider we could make it one wider I think I want to make it one wider at least yeah okay so let's do that this will be that doesn't matter we can just pave right over top of this this isn't gonna matter we'll do a full block even for this so this is gonna come This is going to come out quite a bit, okay. Let's just pull this out now so that we can start getting some privacy going on. And then this is going to come across. Should we pull that across? Well, we we might change how this is here. So, okay, let's do this. Pull this across to there. Stop at one. Just one, two, one or two. Thank you. out here so you can see the green bleeding through where I was painting it from the inside and that'll actually be a good telltale sign where I am when I'm digging out the underside of this so that's good to keep in mind so I should probably dig out the underside of it get it all sealed and painted and then when I start digging this now let's just seal this up this is we need we need a sealed floor here we need we need this sealed this is ridiculous I can't I can't run like this anymore not with these spiders around okay, that's what I want get right down in there there we want to run this across something like that okay going so that is one two three so that's four five from the center five where the wall is going to be start getting 
some privacy here. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I need to continue using those blocks. I probably don't need to. I can use the full ones now, I bet. So I think that's what I want to do. Let's try and get a full set of blocks down because it's nice flat with the ground right there. It's going to it's gonna look good. It's going to look really good. So let's do this. Come on. We want to get this right under if we can. I think we got it. I think we got it right under. Okay, let's get a chunk of blocks up there. Okay. So at least we're getting some privacy going. Uh, we do need to make a... Let's make the... hangar door. Oh, I love advanced constructors. They're just so fast. This will be done in like no time. How awesome is that? Okay. <clears throat> so... see where can we do the oh we can do the stairs too let's get rid of those we don't need that right now let's do the stairs too I think we can do the stairs right now yeah so let's do that and then we can dig that out so we gotta continue we need to continue this now. So I want to do a big, like, oh, can we get it enough all the way? Can we get it one more? Oh, it won't go all that way. Okay, so let's get back a little bit so that we can. Let's do it to there. Oh, darn it, I should have put the tent down. You know what, I'm gonna do that really quick. So here's a little trick to get rid of the grass. Hopefully you don't make a tent dent doing it, because that can be ugly as sin too, but. Um, let's grab my tent. Where did I put my tent? Right there. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna show you a little secret. Well, it's not a secret. It's not a secret. Everyone, everyone knows how to do this. This is not a secret by any means. So, when you throw down your tent, it actually removes grass. And once, once you have concrete down or any other type of building material on top of that, the grass does not come back, or at least shouldn't, as long as you got a core in. I have seen sometimes without a core train can come back so be aware of that so I'm gonna place my tent and see it just removes the grass and then I'm gonna pick it up and hopefully we don't get attract any spiders here no okay let's do this again right there um, And one more. That should be fine. Okay. We don't need to remove any more grass. We should be just fine. We can put this back. That's our, 
grass removal tool. And let's get this built. Oops, and I can't get out. Uh, okay. So we gotta extend this wall some more. Although we can, no, we gotta actually do the floor first. Let's get the floor done. So down. Not, that was tragic. Uh, I'm gonna have to zap the just that uh, without ah. Uh, I didn't want to like spoil the green grass around it. Whatever, whatever. Put this down. Can I get that under there? Well, that is. There's one there already. Okay, good. So I just gotta pull this down. Okay. And then now I can just go like this. That's not too bad. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, crap. I might have to get rid of that tree. That's going to be annoying, isn't it? In my base. A branch in my base like that. Yep, it's got to go. That's got to go. What can I kill it with? My shotgun. So let's go do some shotgun lumberjacking. For those of you who have never done this before. <laughs> it's always fun. Uh, here, let's reload just in case we got some other critters coming around. Got a lot of shotgun shells, so if we do get critters, we can blast them too, I guess. Okay, so I don't hear any or see any. Let's like aim down at the trunk <laughs> and then pick up that wood. And then we'll. I'm not sure if we can do these big ones. Can we do these big ones? Yep, two shot or so. So there we go, some. Some wood logs. How much did we just get there? Eight wood logs. <laughs> Shotgun lumberjack. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to leave the episode off here. It's, it's really long. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to finish digging this off, and I'm going to seal this up. And then I'm going to dig out the underside and seal that up. I'm going to move all the generators and crap downstairs. Um, and yeah, and I'll probably turn that front area, I'll move everything downstairs from that front area and probably turn that into my bedroom and maybe make all the metal blocks into like windows or something. And I'll have a nice like, and then maybe I'll make a fence around it to have like a nice little, I'll try and grab some trees that are around there in, in the fence so that it's like a nice outdoor wooded fenced in little area maybe put a gazebo somewhere or something yeah no I probably won't spend that much time on it <laughs> just kidding uh, okay so good we got a good start I think we might have squished the bug spawn because I'm pretty sure it was like right behind the HV so I think we killed it which is good because we need we need our privacy so awesome well guys I hope you like this episode next episode we hopefully will continue on with the Robson protocol but I, I think what we have to do is get an SV going because I need to actually get some heavy armor and I'm not really sure how to do that without taking on a, a, a POI at this point so we're gonna have to go do that we're gonna have to go take on a POI uh, the armory is close by I believe but next episode, I want to build an SV, so I'm going to finish off the base, and then next episode, I'll get everything ready to, to build an SV, so we'll do that live, and uh, we'll be able to buzz around in that. Until then, guys, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>